Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Figure uh, from Reason Studios. Um, yeah, Figure's been out for absolutely ages. Uh, it was first released, let me just check here. Oh, <laughs> I think 28th of October 2015 is the earliest version I have uh, listed. So yeah, awesome stuff. <laughs> it's still great fun. Um, it requires zero, zero musical knowledge whatsoever. So it's very, very easy and quick to get started. Has loads and loads of drum kits and sounds. We'll check loads of them out and stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll just make some beats and things. At the moment, if I go to global, I have two bars selected. But we can have up to eight bars. And then we have a mix. And this is where we can choose our scaling key. Hey, it's Pete Johns. <laughs> and oh, well, hi, Stephen, as well. Hello. Uh, yeah, so... And then we have songs where we can load our songs or save them or we can export them to Reason if we have Reason on the desktop. Figure is completely free. Uh, we'll leave it in A minor because it's easy. We'll leave the arpeggiator switched on. Shuffle at 54, tempo 1, 2, 7. It's fine. You can change the key here to, uh, you know, anything you like. And it'll, it'll change there. So we've got relative... It's a, a C major, but the relative is A minor, so that's that's fine. It's all going to fit. You don't need to worry about anything like this. Then you can tweak the sounds. Uh, best to do that while, whilst you've recorded something, and then you can have a pattern. So all you need to do to start is very simply you hit record, and then uh, yeah, you hit play, and count along the top there. And then you can uh, either stop record and it will just play. Or you can hit record again and start adding some stuff in. Now the cool thing here is you can, if we stop record, you can well, let's set this at uh, eights. beans let's put some drums in and then we, we can add some uh, <clears throat> bass let's stop record So, say you've done that like and you don't like it, we can go into a raise mode and just clear the bass. Start again. So we've only got two bars, so. Go into our mix with our bass. Let's change the, let's go out of a raise mode. Um, how do we do that? You can change the sound.
When you, and that's it. That's all it is too. So we're just going to be playing. But I'm going to do an eight, an eight pattern one in a minute and something a bit slower. Now Jacob, Jacob Hack is, he loves figure and he he's absolutely, absolutely brilliant at it. And he really is. He does stuff with figure like you think. Whoa, is that even figure? However, um, we are going to just save this. So how do we save a song? Right. So we can rename this. So to let's see Doug one and then um this is just gener oh no I've generated a new name. So, so I haven't used figure for literally years. I ain't I'm not even joking in years. Uh, let's see. A B C so Doug um one I can close the keyboard and hit save and I've now saved the dog one and it should be in browse now oh there it is there it is super uh so we can open that so let's 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 create a new one now shall we let's create something new how do we do this new plus cool uh we don't need to worry about names yet let's go to our global let's have this a major let's have this uh as a, at a b minor just for fun let's turn our shuffle up now shall we to six three t bar up on ah, 90 bpm it's, it's, it's created a nice uh, another change for us which is cool i'd just like to say hello to everybody who's here in the chat as well hello joe hello joe um hi steven mark gary hi gary um hi josh uh, hi wall and anyone i may have missed um i don't think so sam's here hi sam uh, I think that's everybody. Um, Pete. Pete Johns. I don't know if serious Pete's still here. But if he is, hi Pete. It's Pete Johns. Right, so let's go back to our uh, our drum. Pa let's go to our patterns and our drums here now. <laughs> we can... Let's look at this, right. So let's get a... Pa Moving around, right? That is nice. Moving around the XY pads will change. Will change the sounds, and all this information is recorded in. So we're gonna go. First of all, we're gonna go to global and set it to eight bars, and it'll say we're now on eight bars. Okay, so you can choose four, two. And if you've already selected a bar pattern, if you try to change it, it'll ask you, are you sure? But no, we'll just leave it on eight bars. Now, eight bars is the maximum length you can have in figure. So really, on my couple of gripes with figure is that th this part of the app is only for, um, it will only work in portrait mode. However, you can swing it round for, if we go back to, if we go into tweaks, you can swing it round for tweaks and stuff. And, it's a, that's cool if you're on a bus with your phone or you're a passenger in a car or st whatever you know what i mean here is where it says four this is how the pattern plays so you can get interesting you can go up to 16 yes Let's leave that on six or so six is quite interesting and don't forget we've also got our our global shuffle as well so we could have a mess around with that when we've actually recorded something else in so that might be cool beans um yeah i like that so like i said all we need to do is we all we need to do is hit record and then it'll, it'll start to play so now unfortunately i've got to wait till it comes all the way around but you can just start it in while you're playing and this is 90 BPM, so this is nice. We should be able to build up something quite nice. Well, there we go. <laughs> OK, 
gate gate in it by the sound of it. And of course, which is oh, it's quite nice, it's quite have, nice having odds on there. So let's uh, engage record, and when it comes around, we'll put, start to put our snare slash clap in. Yeah, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with your budgie. But you, what's cool is, that, which I'll show you in a sec, is you can change all this stuff out on the fly. Okay. We can change the fill. Let's put it on seven. space start to do some cool stuff. I was like, I haven't had to go because he's driving. <clears throat> um, if we go to tweaks, let's go to our drums and go to tweaks, see what we've got going on here. Now we're not recording anything so we don't need to worry. quite like that actually. It gives a little bit of more movement to the sound. Hi, Jay. 
fade. Now we can do the actual
It's awesome fun, it really is. <clears throat> Let's save that as well, shall we? Let's save, we can just keep it. What they've called it. Let's create a new one. Let's create some shorter ones <clears throat> at a higher speed. It's global. Keep it 110. Let's go 120. So I'm sure everybody must have. Let's leave it at two bars. I'm sure everybody. Let's leave it at four. Fuck it. I'm sure everybody must have um, figure. Figures like completely free. So, you know, if you haven't got it, you might as well go and get it. And you get it. You just sign up to your email to the the Reason Studios, and then you be, you can share it and stuff like that. It's pretty pretty cool. So let's go with I don't know what's that. G sharp minor. You see flat in it. Um, let's leave the shuffle where it is. Um, and yeah, must, that's must, obviously the relative minor for B. Um, cool beans. Let's see. Okay, so pattern. Let's have what's. Oh. I think I like that one better. So let's, uh, now let's have a what if I just hold it and press record. Okay, I'm just gonna clear that. Uh, this is dead easy no no brain power whatsoever required to use i'm gonna set this for a standard two sugar what the f hang on Stuff sixteenths. Thank you. 
What's nice is being able to set the range, the scale, steps of really high. You've got. If you can go all the way, what's it, seven? All the way down to one. Which is just basically one. Go. Let's go fix this. Hang on. So we'll go to seven. And then the range. And the rhythm. So your basic four eighths. 16s they're going to be kind of you, you can tell but it gets nice when you start to make different different patterns that are outside the normal resolution so, so all that's being recorded basically normally finding the sound is so that's obviously all of them in the leads. Let's see what we've got. Quite a few.
So where figure really shines is, well, apart from the fact that it's an absolute piece of cake to actually, yeah, you could actually do a live performance with figure eight. It's not a, you know, if, if you like minimal techno or minimal electronica or stuff like that, you can really do that with figure. And you could do it as a live set. And the, given the fact that you can tweak anything at any time, or say, for instance, you wanted to erase parts of a, of a, of a drum pattern while it's playing, which I'll we'll do in a minute, and then just kind of build up from there again. And and then in, in the end, you'll completely change. So what we'll do in a second, we'll completely change the feel of this thing totally, but we'll keep the, we'll keep the session running. But what, what is one of the really great things about figure is it sounds brilliant it's it the or everything that is in here is well produced anyway so the sound quality is great i mean it's great right out of figure you really don't need to do a lot else to it and um, i mean you could end up putting it somewhere else if you like a master in it etc etc and it is inter app audio so you can use it the trouble is with it being portrait landscapey thing is a pain in the ass when you try and use it in like garage band or Cubasis or some of those interrap. I did a vi video, of, oh gosh, years ago. God, it must have been like mega foot 2014 or something crazy, like, or oh, 2015. It would have been 2015 because it didn't come out till 2015, but it was really early. And uh, I did it with how to use figure in, in garage band. And oh, it's just, uh, it, it's actually painful to me to watch it, you know what I mean? Uh, but. So let's do what I said we'd do and we'll just mess this up. So check this out. No, but that didn't pick up.
save that. You might, you might as well save everything. Do you know what I mean? Let's go and have a listen to the first one again. We did. <laughs> there you go not really can't really go much further other than playing different sounds and stuff but you, you get the idea you get the idea it's it's good fun it's good fun is what it is if you want to take it a step further you can check out some of jacob's stuff it's remarkable and he has he has done if you just type in uh figure reason or propeller head as it was then uh, or Jacob Hack reason, uh, Jacob Hack um, figure, you'll get loads of his really, really cool videos and, and you know, he really takes this stuff to the max. You don't have to as well also, if you take this all the way down to one, or off. So... You can play it like a... You don't have to have the, uh, the like kind of arpeggiator thing going on, but it, like for instance this. So this is the... If you look in the mix, uh, the global, we turn arpeggiator off. I'm guessing. And if you turn it, sorry, back on, you can hold more than one note and get an arp. And of course, because you're locked to a key, a particular key and scale. Uh, you can't, you can't play it wrong. Do you know what I mean? So, whatever your bass is doing, it's gonna fit in, and the, of course, because it's all sync locked. And there's some really nice synth sounds. Actually, I think these were all done with Thor, and Thor isn't available on the App Store anymore, sadly. But 
very, very, very cool. Super duper stuff. I think the drums are a bit are particularly good as well in in there. I'm gonna start making sure you get quite a few. They go in alphabet. I wish I, I wish there was oh there is look. If you double tap them, you can jump from that's that handy. I didn't know that. That must be a that must be a new thing, a newer thing. So actually, let's cool. Let's let's do this. Let's create a new a new things. And I just got to change. Just don't need that. Um, let's let's run this just to this very first one. And let's record. Um, let's do two bars. Oh, we're on two bars. That's cool. A major. Let's do F minor. Actually, let's do. Let's see. Here we go. A minor. Um, and the two bars pattern. Yeah. So let's just. Um. Oh, well, that's cool. So, hit to record. If we double tap now, we can kind of pre. Uh, uh, can someone? Can someone do me a favor? Can someone make some sort of comment? Just say that I'm still because my comments seem to have stopped. Uh, stopped progressing after getting there. More. Oh, hi, Stephen. Brilliant. Thank you. I guess we can do the same at the base. Yeah, look at that look.
Doma. There you go. You you can. The, I like this. I never. I never even knew this. You could double tap on it and change the sound like that. I don't even know. I might have been in there from the beginning. I don't know. Um, I've so long. That's very cool. Makes um, setting something up and then changing out the sounds and stuff. That's very cool. So it's quite. You know, it's quite. You can do a lot. It's easy to get going with it. Literally, you make a track in a few seconds. That and that is genuinely true. The length of one bar, dum bang, a couple of things, and you're done. You can't really. You can't really go wrong. You, well, you can't go wrong. It's impossible. Um, and you, it's the ability to compose bars and and loops and stuff like that is endless. You don't. You're never going to run out of ideas. Everything you're going to do is going to be different. Especially when you start mixing and matching and playing with the tweaks and stuff, you can see different things that are available. And these things will change per sound or per drum pattern. Some of them may be filters, like on this particular one, it's heat, like heat or boil, which I guess is kind of like a will be like saturation. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Now, don't forget tonight at eight, it is quiz night with me and Joe and questions by Russ. So that's what we'll be doing, quiz night, um, which should be fun. Just for just for fun, people, it's just for fun. There are no prizes; <laughs> just the taking part is fun. But Russ has made up all these questions, all music based, so it's all cool. And yeah, and some of them are really clever. You wouldn't be able to Google the answers; you'd have to kind of know. Anyway, uh, bless you all. Thank you so much again for joining me this afternoon, where we took a look at figure, a retrospective last in the past with uh, Reason Studios figure which is still available and still completely free um, yeah awesome stuff when you're happy you can save your song and uh, do all sorts of other cool stuff and if, if as a performance tool it's really good if it's playing you can change key I am going to uh, let's see let's do some cool stuff let's while you say ta -da to each other I'm going to play out some of this stuff so the pump, by the way, is like a compressor. So it's cool. Anyway, you say to the to a few minutes, guys. I will see you all later. Uh, thank you very, very much. And thank you for the super chat, Omar. M much appreciated, mate. Really is. I can't tell you. Thank you very, very much. Brilliant. Cheers. <laughs> 